Hey Cougar fans, Beth O'Donnell here with another edition of This Week in Cougar Athletics. Each week we bring you the top stories, highlights, and let you know what's planned for the week to come. So let's get started. Men's basketball swept the LA schools and faced the Huskies in the Pac-12 tournament. Brock Modem had a game-high 28 points as WCU scored 15 straight points late in the game against Washington. DJ Shelton added 19 points on 6 of 13 shooting and also had 5 rebounds and 3 assists. Royce Woolridge rounded out the top 3 scorers for WCU as he tallied 12 points in the game. Women's basketball topped Arizona State in the opening round of the Pac-12 tournament in Seattle. Freshman Leah Galdera finished the season with 459 points, a WSU freshman record. Her scoring output for the year was 10th most in WSU single season history. The team blocked 114 shots this season, the most in program history. The previous mark of 106 was set last season. Stephen Scott Ellis finished 11th in the men's long jump at the NCAA Division I Indoor Track and Field Championships. This was the final competition indoors as the Cougars look forward to the outdoor season. Tennis hit the road for three matches as they took on Cal, Stanford, and UNLV this past week. Junior Olga Musilovic won her singles match against Cal's Alice Duranto as she improved to 12-0 in dual matches at that point. Cougar baseball took the series opener versus the University of Texas San Antonio as redshirt junior Adam Nelbowich led WCU with seven hits in the four-game series. Redshirt freshman Nick Tanielu continues to lead the team at the plate, hitting 429. Mallory Kent fired a 1 under 71 in the final round of the 28th annual Dr. Donis Thompson Invitational in Hawaii. Kent converted five birdie putts in the final round, including four during a 12 hole stretch. The Cougars came into the final round in 10th place but finished the tournament fifth, just one stroke behind number 41, Mississippi. Men's golf finished 10th at the Bandon Dunes Championship in Oregon. Senior Hank Frame finished three over in the tournament, placing him in a tie for 21st as Washington State's top finisher. Now let's take a look at what's going on this week in Cougar Athletics. Cougar baseball opens Pac-12 play at number 24 Arizona State this weekend. The series opens with 6.30 p.m. starts on both Friday and Saturday before concluding at 12.30 on Sunday afternoon. Radio coverage will be on 11.50 a.m. and live stats will be available at wcougars.com. The Cougars return home to face Gonzaga at Bailey Brayton Field on Tuesday, March 19th at 6 p.m. The game against Gonzaga will have a live webcast at pack-12.com slash live slash WCU Cougars. Bookmark this web address as all WCU home baseball webcasts will be broadcast on this page. Radio coverage is also available on 11.50 a.m. as well as on WCCougars.com. Men's golf will head south for the Border Olympics this weekend in Laredo, Texas. The three-round tournament begins Friday, March 15th and wraps up the next day. Head to WCCougars.com for recaps each day. Track and field opens the outdoor season with the Spokane Community College Dusty Lane Invitational on Saturday, March 16th in a single-day event that runs most of the day. Cougar tennis returns to conference play as they face the Oregon Ducks at noon on Sunday, March 17th in Eugene, Oregon. Head to WCCougars.com after word for a recap of all the matches. That's all that's going on this week in Cougar Athletics. Be sure to check out WCCougars.com for schedules, results, and highlights. Until next time, I'm Beth O'Donnell. Go Cougs!